Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here and it's time for many people's favorite segment, one that has a big following and that's Emma's training vlogs and we are up to vlog number 22. Yeah, that means over five months of her progress has been consistently uh, observed and she's gained, even as an advanced lifter, noticeable strength, noticeable muscle mass in that time. Uh, so for her conjugate upper body max, we did a pen press with a football bar. She got 150 pounds with the football bar from a dead stop. just above her chest. Uh, we're doing real good. Now, her upper body, we've gone to a little bit of shoulder focus right now. Now, people say, well, why? why? Is, this, is it a weak point? No, not necessarily. Uh, she just wanted bigger shoulders for now. All right. She's a... a, a thinner, leaner woman who used to do bodybuilding and track and field, got good shoulder genetics. She's like, I, I don't know, I'd like to bring my shoulders up a little. So we're putting a little more focus there, a little less on other stuff. It doesn't mean the other muscles are not getting good growth stimulus. Because look at what we're doing. What are we doing for supplemental work? Dumbbell flat presses, right? Pe for pecs, triceps, everything. Uh, we're doing neutral grip pull-ups. So her lats and, and biceps and everything are covered there. So then for the rest of her upper body, we do the strict standing press, and then we do upright rows. Again, both very, very good shoulder exercises. And between these two movements, between these two movements, we have literally worked every single part of her entire shoulder, All right? Everything's been worked. And it's been worked heavily because keep in mind, the other movements work delts and traps and things to, to in different parts as well that we just did. And people forget the deadlifting and other stuff hits the, the upper back. So this is what we did for her. Uh, a lower max effort. We went with a cane bird bar. She hadn't done this in months for a back squat. She got a 20-pound PR, and it was faster. She showed me her other video. She's like, it's faster than when I hit 205. But she got 225. 225. We're doing good there. Especially for a harder bar like that, you know, and she back squats a little more than that now. All right, then after for supplemental work, very straightforward Romanian deadlifts. Safety bar split squats. All right. And reverse hypers. Again, nothing complicated here. These are all we would think of as basic type movements for, uh, again, on the, the easier recovery end. Now, a lot of people will know they're like, why do some of your clients like Emma, they seem to do a lot more accessory volume, and it's because they're conjugate lifters. We don't get a whole lot of work on max effort day. We really don't. And so accordingly, we have to have a lot of supplemental volume to maximize hypertrophy. We have to. For my clients who are running more traditional uh, barbell-based stuff that, again, is based off 531, and I think what people need to remember even with the 531, Wendler didn't even invent all of that, by the way. Like, it's not his original brainchild. I'm not going to get into all that. It's too much to discuss. It's, it's an existing system that he more or less adapted very successfully, and it works. You know, just like conjugate with, with this, everyone thinks, oh, Louis Simmons invented all the conjugates. So, no, he didn't. He intelligently implemented all of it as a coach successfully. Hey, these systems are all actually coming from even older sources so you need a context for that these are just proven methodologies and systems coming from different science backgrounds different coaches that people have updated and modernized right into into slightly better approaches based on the data we have available and experimenting with athletes that's it and they work and that's how training works hey that is how training works of course, now she's doing her hanging leg raises, which we're working some of these in. They will help her. And she was like, you don't have to use this for the vlog if you don't want my form. was terrible. I'm like, oh, it's fine, Emma. What do you mean? You're good. We worked the abdominals and we worked all the hip flexors. Okay, that's what we want. Uh, her speed bench, we never change. Speed bench stays the same year round for her and her bench just continues to climb. Meaning we don't change it. I make no changes to her speed bench ever. It's the same thing. Three sets wide, three sets medium, three sets close, lightweight, heavy band tension, all pretty much the same percentages. We don't even run waves anymore, it's just constant. Uh, then of course she does her flat dumbbell presses, she does neutral grip pull-ups, and I think she's up past eight again, she'll chime in in the, in the comments that are her own. 
her own uh, channel. She likes to comment and interact with, with her own fans that she builds up here. And, uh, you know, again, she's at at least eight. I forgot to count this time. She can get mad. Coach, I should be like, Coach, I got nine or I got whatever. You should tell people that. You're stealing my reps by not acknowledging their glory. But she'll, she'll let you guys know her rep count because I, I forgot to double check. All right. But they're pretty good at this point. Again, how many guys can't do more than, you know, can't do five plus pull-ups who lift? And she's over here cranking them out, keeping in mind men are so much more upper body dominant. And that's kind of my point. I like pull-ups for my lifters who can do them. I am a little more leery of too many chin-ups, you know, for a lot of, a lot of reasons. Uh, but then we do the strict press. We do the strict press, and she wants to, we need to test her max. She had said, I don't know what my max is, actually. I, I, I wonder, that came up in the comments. She's like, I haven't tested it in a long time. It's like, well, maybe we should, we should consider testing her max coming up. Just so that she knows, just so that we have it. Why not? See where it is. And again, we call it a conservative max, a max where she doesn't risk failing. But conjugate's different. We max a lot on conjugate, and people don't get that. They're like, uh, why come you tell your people not to max with other systems? Because there's no need to. Conjugate is built around max effort. It is the basis of the system of rotating max effort lifts. That is your foundation. And then other things are woven in concurrently. Uh, but again, the rest of her supplemental work is the same on both days. All right, we're doing Romanian deadlifts. She's doing safety bar split squats and people note that we rotate these and and I've, I've had her do less good mornings these days because again i find with a lot of my lifters good mornings will build your squat like crazy up into a point and then they stop having carryover and i'm not going to get into my exact math yes I, I have determined mathematical points relative to squat strength and stuff by observing you know because at one time I had, I believe, 22 lifters on conjugate itself at one time. 22 clients on conjugate. Uh, that gave me an enormous amount of data for this system. Even though people see me drifting more towards the 531 type stuff, I have so much data I've compiled observing people on conjugate. Uh, so I know how to program it. I just don't think it's for everyone. That's the issue. Emma thrives on it, obviously. right? She does extremely well on it. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.